Croatia would become the first team to play in Israel since September. Because security had improved, European football's governing body, UEFA, had lifted a ban on internationals taking place in the country. The ban forced all Israel home games played under UEFA jurisdiction to be held in neutral foreign venues. Israel would play its Euro 2008 Group E qualifier against Croatia at the National Stadium in Ramat Gan. They had to host the previous home game against Andorra in the Netherlands. Croatia went into the match knowing they would need a good performance if they were to beat the host team who were undefeated in their past 13 international matches. Israel coach, Draw Kashtan. There is no such thing as a perfect team. Everyone has its weaknesses and also Croatia, as I have said before, as the leading team in our group, has its weaknesses, as does anyone else. No team is perfect. Israel's young lineup were largely new to spectators who last saw their national team play on home soil more than one year before. Many of the players had been drafted from the under-21 side, which had just qualified for the European Championship. Israel and Croatia had met four times in friendlies, with the Croats winning twice, Israel once, with one draw.